so I have my garbage bag. This is not as difficult as the last time because I forgot that I did this. But when I packed everything away in the summer bin, so I off season clothes, what I did, I don't even know if you can hear me. What I did is each one of my press and seal bags was separated into each category. So with my summer stuff, because I haven't tried it on in a while, I've lost some inches. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be in the try on pile. Some stuff I know fits me for sure and will continue to fit me, probably fit me a little bit nicer. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of a whole ton of stuff because I did purge a lot of the stuff in October, which I should have filmed for you guys, but I didn't think. So I'm going to go through this. You guys can actually see what I ended up keeping from Zapple. This bathing suit pile is pretty massive, but I actually have a pool at my new house. So I'm gonna be keeping more than I normally would have. Let's start sorting. So keeps are gonna go into the bin and then the tosses are gonna go into the bag. So I'll move you guys closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing right now is going through everything on my bed, tossing things just rapidly. I know it doesn't fit or if I need to try it on, well, if I know it doesn't fit, I don't have it. But if I need to try it on, I'm gonna put it in a separate pile. If it's going automatically, it's gonna go into the bag. If I'm keeping it, it's gonna go into the bin. So let's try and do this quickly. These are a try on because they kind of fit. That pile is just gonna go on Victoria's bed. Some gym short. Got a couple pairs of those now. And these need to be tried on also. This I just tried on from Zaffle. All right, everybody. The bathing suit pile is immense. I have a lot that I didn't actually realize that I still had. So because normally I don't wear bathing suits super often. So I just like end up buying new ones like almost every year. But here's the thing. This year I got so many from Zaffo. Like so, so many. And I was going through my stuff. And I had already bought some for myself before they sent me these. But here's the thing. Now I have three black bottoms. These, these are high-waisted ones. You guys want to laugh? Still have the tag on them. And I was upset because I couldn't find a pair of black high-waisted ones this year. But I completely forgot that I bought these ones. And then I have these ones that I bought this year for my trip to Aruba. But I have these three. These are just the black ones. And then I have like 9 million other things. These can go off the bat. Like, what is this? And then also these. Super old, faded. This one I just bought from Forever 21. It did not look good on me when I tried it on. So this I have to try on again too. This is my favorite from Zapple. This thing is actually fantastic. And I recommend to everybody. That one can stay. This needs to be tried on because it was a this swimsuit, this was actually really expensive. It's Ava. It's from Princess Polly Boutique. Got frills on the side and then the top has like these frilly straps. But the thing with this is it kind of gets see-through when you come out of the water. But it was just so expensive and pretty that I'm never getting rid of it. And it looks really good on. If you guys want to see it on me, you can check my Instagram, which I'm going to link down below. It's the same way it's spelled here, girl code with B. Come and follow me over there. Tons of updates there. This one fits and I love it. Also from Zappo. are too big. These are a try on. This one I love from Zaffle, but it's too big for me, honestly. So hopefully somebody else will have a good time with this. These are so old. I think this is too big, but I have to try it on. This one I have to try on as well. This one I personally don't reach for. It's like a pink one, like Victoria's Secret. This is a have to try. This is a have to try. This is a have to try. Oh, this one's broken. So this can go right now. This one is a really cheeky one from Zapple that I have to try on. It's like itty bitty. And the top was kind of too big for me. So I have to try that on as well. And then I have these itty itty bitty ones that I they actually look really big on here, but there's tiny when you put them on. These are like bathing suit short. This is my like get ready towel that I don't know why it was in my summer bin. I wrote 66 t-shirt. I love it. And then and this romper I like but recently the straps snapped right off of it so I just sewed them back on so I don't know what the heck's going on with this. I'm gonna put all the maybes in a pile and I'll show you guys and then by god I need to go through this again because by god who am I? I gotta go through everything again because I feel like I'm still keeping way too much crap. Don't need 8,000 bathing suits Bianca. Mm -mm. Okay, so my maybe pile is probably the size of what my keep pile should be. So I'm just gonna separate this again into like different categories and then go through each thing. I don't think I wanna keep either one of these blazers. I don't think they ever really fit me well. Do you wanna get a really good blazer? And I was looking at either a Babaton or a Tallulah one from Retzia, but I have to try these on because I think they're both too big for me. Too much stuff.
homies, I've got still a big bin, so we're gonna dump it back on my bed, sort everything into its categories, see what we still have crazy amounts of, put everything back, see what we have. But I did, I do have this like, I can even look this up. Ugh. This garbage bag is like half full, and these are like for the massive garbage cans, which is more than I thought I was gonna get rid of. I thought it was just gonna be a few things, because remember I did purge a ton of this stuff already in October. So let's just dump this stuff all back on my bed. This is also all of my special occasion dresses as well. I've Four full pieces. This pile is special occasion dresses as well as other dresses. So this is my biggest pile. These are all my dresses and rompers. Well, two are rompers. This is a jumpsuit. Four dresses specifically for special occasion. I have 15 dresses. That's probably a little bit crazy still, but I have cut down and I do tend to wear all of these and a few of these I'm not 100% sure about. So I might get rid of some more, but what I'm gonna do is put all of these into this zip bag. Okay, so I've folded everything in a KonMari style. So these are all of my shirts. Those are all my bathing suits. I have two skirts and all my shorts are here. So I still have a lot of space in this bag, which I actually didn't have any space in it before. And that was just dresses. So I'm gonna put all my skirts in there as well. And my more sentimental pieces, like my Christmas sweaters and my shirt from Pizza Fest last year. I'm gonna put those in with my dresses as well. And then we're gonna try and use fewer bags than I did last time. So that way I can actually use those bags for my extra blankets and bedding. So that way, I can get some of that stuff packed as well. So I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this because that means that I am like packed. All my clothes are packed besides what I'm going to be keeping out with me until we actually move, which is all going to be able to fit in a large suitcase. Okay, the seal is sealed. I'm going to try and do this one handed. I have not done that before, but you guys are going to see. Just place the vacuum cleaner head right over the flap and. And look at this compact little thing. Okay guys, so this is super exciting. I am so tired, but I have fit everything I own in terms of summer clothes into this bin. There's actually still space in it. So you guys can see, I think I might just buy another one of the other bags to put all my dresses in together because you know what? This is really like, it's not that much, it's not saving that much space. So yeah, I still have room in this, which is great. It's my other bin with all my winter clothes, all my other clothes, it's really full. That has also my winter jacket, all my other jackets in it, which take up a lot of space. These aren't huge bins, but I think that's pretty good. Overall, I'm really proud of myself with what, everything that I've been able to get rid of. Um, I got rid of probably three quarters of a jumbo garbage bag, everything I have I kind of love. I have three things that need fixing, which I'm gonna take care of in the next couple of days. Everything I'm gonna be keeping with me until the move is under 70 items, not including undergarment, including pajamas, including shoes, including accessories. So roughly 70 items, including everything. I think that might still be a little bit much, but I will definitely be showing you guys. I'm gonna be trying out a capsule wardrobe for the first time which I'm really excited about because I'm still on this minimalism journey. I'm still paring down. I still have a long way to go, obviously, but this is really gonna help me. This is a really good opportunity to do this for me because of the move. This is the, just the perfect opportunity to try this out for myself. And I'm super, super excited about this. Um, people have been requesting other minimalism videos, so I'm gonna have another one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.